All right, so apparently you're not going to let me turn my phone today. Oh, this is off to a rousing start. Oh, what's going on? I kind of feel like I need to be here, but I'm not really sure what to say today. Which should normally be an excuse to just not do it and call it an early Friday, but no, 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 those are bad habits to, to get into. So, here I am. I'm going to kind of start with, I guess, my why. And there's a whole big why to, there's different pieces to my why. And for me, a lot of it is knowing what Rock bottom, yeah, that's part of it, and that's kind of where it took me. But knowing what it's like to feel like you're not spinning with the world you're in, and sometimes you can bullshit it well, other times not so much. Some of us are better at it than others. Some of us are, you know, perfectly content with everything that they landed with and everything that's going on. And you know what? My stuff's probably not for you. And that's perfectly okay. A lot of who I want to speak to is... I don't know, I like the term misfit toys. And if you think about, I believe it was Rudolph, when they landed in the island of misfit toys, all these toys that were, that worked perfectly well and were perfectly amazing as they were, but the world deemed them just a little ways off and not quote-unquote right. And not through anybody's fault, really. It's just kind of how things worked out. It always felt like I never really fit in to any place I belonged. And... I just figured, okay, I'm the one that's broken. I'm the one that's fucked up. And as I started to examine that and try to work through that, I learned that there are many, many, many people that feel the exact same way for various reasons. More than I could even rattle off on a live. And I even want to venture a guess that the vast majority of us feel that way. We kind of settle into what's around us because we think that's what we should do, what we're supposed to. And I love that, Jordan. And it's everything to do with, you know, you, it's a process to find your tribe. And many of us either don't realize it or don't have the patience for it or don't really know what that means. And when you're kind of out there on your own, kind of floating, you know, you kind of can get some really crappy wiring upstairs. You start believing some stuff that doesn't necessarily 
exist. A lot of bullshit. It, a lot of some of it's what got passed on. Some of it is what we're told we have to be to fit in. Again, that phrase. That's just, and that's kind of what I'm trying to really do, trying to reach out to my fellow quote-unquote misfit toys. And we can learn together that even if the world doesn't quite spin with you, your world is there. And it'll come to you if you allow it. If you work through that crappy wiring and we kind of get through the lousy expectations that we get thrown at us that we decide to take on because we don't know any better. I'll tell you this. I bet you if you take an expectation, hey Shannon, you having a big day today, you rock star. I bet you if we really sat down and really thought about where our mind goes, and we really you know, either journaled it out or talked it out, you'd be able to pick apart a lot of the stuff that's crap. And so much of it is very much crap. I agree with that analysis. I believe there's some great changes ahead for you. You just, you're just starting to scratch the surface, woman. And... It's a matter of starting to prove to ourselves that what we see or what we think people see in us is really a figment of their own crap. Oh, very nice. Another interview you're going to have to go crush. Rock on. And I think trying to make peace with a lot of those screwed up beliefs is a lot of the basis behind a lot of what drives our fears and what drives our addictions and drives our pain and I think if we slowly built up our confidence and Realize that the term misfit was just a crock of bullshit. That a lot of other things would start to fall into place. It's a lot of asking ourselves for proof of a lot of what we're we're saying. It's a matter of not buying into everything that that monkey mind, the one that tells us that we're not good enough or that we suck or that we're not worthy or we can't do this or we're not this or we don't have the money for that. And I'll 
Zweier. Once you start to learn a lot of that stuff is bullshit, it opens up so many possibilities. I'm not going to promise you that I can make you a million dollars. I'm not going to promise you that you're going to find the love of your life. But I can promise you if you stop buying the bullshit, the possibilities are endless. And maybe you'll find your own way. And I believe that in a hot second, Jordan. That's this is why I love you, because you've got that you've got that flow around you where you just make feel people feel better around you. I see that in you, even all the way in Texas. So that's really kind of my why to do what I can to let the rest of us know that we're good and it can be all right. And fuck being misfits, to be perfectly honest, was we're all badasses in our current form, whatever that form is. And it's okay if it doesn't fit in with whatever crowd you're around. It just means you need to find another crowd. Or you just kind of need to just keep playing your music and your crowd will find you. Believe me, it will. And if any of this, you know, sings to you, if any of this freaks you out and you know, any of this moves you in any way, shape, or form, you know, feel free to share it. Feel free to send it to somebody. If you think that you and I can work together through something or you just want to chit-chat, hit me up. I don't bite. Well, not all the time. Sometimes I do get hungry. But that's really all I got. Um, uh, Sunday night, I'm not sure what time. I'm going to do a kind of a live hangout in my group team beacon. If you haven't jumped on yet, you're more than welcome. You need to find a link in my beacon calling page or hit me up and I'll hook you up. And... I haven't checked my messages, Jordan, so once I get into the coffee shop, I'll do that. Uh, I'll just hear you guys all have a wonderful Friday. I hope your weekend kicks ass, takes names. And I'll be around. Much love. Bye.